Hey guys, Sam here from Core Electronics and today we're going to be taking a look at what is Raspberry Pi. Now simply put, the Raspberry Pi is a fully featured computer the size of a credit card. Amazing. Now originally debuted in 2012, there was the original Raspberry Pi and that board with the same specs underwent a few transformations. We had the Raspberry Pi Model A, which was the original one. Uh, now the Model A refers to the form factor, so the Raspberry Pi kind of numbers are the original, the one, two, uh, is the different iterations and then the model is the form factor so whether it has two USB ports, four USB ports and the number of GPIO pins and how big the board is. So we had the Model A, then we had the Model A Plus which was just a bit of a, an extension. We had the Model B and then the Model B Plus. Now the Raspberry Pi 2 continued with the Model B Plus form factor, uh, the 40 GPIO pins where the mounting holes are, the HDMI port, the combined um, audio and video jack, the original Raspberry Pi had separate ones. So this is a four pole connector um, which has composite video on one and uh, stereo audio on the other. Um, and now, so the Raspberry Pi 3 brings a few awesome features to the table. You've got built-in Bluetooth, built-in Wi-Fi, you've got a spec bump. This guy, the size of a credit card, packs in a 1.2 gigahertz processor. It's based on ARM Cortex architecture, so it's got a lot of power there. You've got one gigabyte of RAM, uh, four full-sized USB ports, 2.0, uh, an Ethernet port, HDMI, power by the micro USB, uh, an LCD display connector for liquid crystal displays, um, and a CSI port for cameras. Now you can go ahead and plug this straight into your TV, into your monitor, anything that has an HDMI port, and it's gonna work straight out of the box. Along with that, you've got your GPIO pins here, so that's general purpose in-out pins. So that's for connecting up you know, your own circuitry. So you might wanna connect sensors, LEDs, motors, Anything you can think of, you can build on a breadboard and plug it in to these GPIO pins here and access them and use them and manipulate them in code on the Raspberry Pi. Um, and you can also uh, get access to the low level peripherals like I2C, spy buses, things like that. Now, the awesome thing about the Raspberry Pi is you don't need a computer to get started. You don't need to program it with another computer. Um, it's it's self-contained and all of the storage on it, there's no onboard storage, it's all through this, uh, this micro SD uh, port there, which you can see, see on your screen. And the micro SD card contains the, the operating system, your files, everything like that. It's all done through there. So you can actually swap SD cards out onto different boards and it'll work, uh, you know, work exactly the same, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's the Raspberry Pi board. Now, what can you actually do with it? I hear a lot of people asking that. That's a good question. So the Raspberry Pi supports uh, Linux. It's all based around Linux, which is you know an open source operating system. And Linux is great because it allows you to do a lot of things. There's a lot of different operating systems you can build around it. So the main way to put operating systems on is using what's called Noobs, new out of box software. And it's kind of like an operating system manager where you can put different, uh, different operating systems onto your SD card and noobs all the way to boot into different ones, kind of have completely separate computer systems on them almost. Um, but the default operating system is called Raspbian. Now that's based on uh, Debian, and it's a community-driven build, but it's got a uh, built-in web browser, the new update Pixel includes Chromium, really featured out, really well fleshed out uh, web browser. Um, text editing, you've got Python development environments, you've got Scratch development environments, all this stuff you can do with it but there's so many more operating systems as well. You can put the Windows 10 IOT core on here. And that's a bit different to the traditional Windows 10, you know, you might see on a desktop computer, but it's got its own place and it's really, really cool. So check out our tutorial on that. You can also put Kodi, uh, Kodi Media Centers on there in the form of OpenELEC or, you know, other ones, but OpenELEC is the one supported by noobs. Uh, you can put RetroPie on here, turn it into a vintage gaming console. Again, awesome write up on that, check that out. Uh, but that's a bit of a look at the Raspberry Pi, what it does and how you can use it. So go ahead and check out our other tutorials, our other projects for some inspiration on how you can get started with the different connections here with the GPIO, uh, get started using Python, um, and yeah, and taking a look at getting even deeper with you know the terminal and things like that. So if you enjoyed this, check out our other tutorials, uh, build an awesome project with our Raspberry Pi, we'd love to see it, and stay tuned for more videos guys. See ya. Thank you.